Yeah, this is another time to encounter God through His Word. So as you're about to listen to this message, I encourage you, don't be distracted. Just pay attention, and I know that God is going to visit you and meet you at the point of your need. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message of today. God bless you. Right now, on legal basis, you are going to pray and declare that every altar that he that told has had any legal grounds on your life, the blood is against it. He said, we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb. Someone open your mouth and begin to decree. In the name of Jesus, the blood of the everlasting covenant is against altars of untimely death. Pray. You know what altars by the patterns in your life. Call it by name and curse it by the God of heaven. Operations of poverty. Operations of failure at the edge of breakthrough. Visitations of wicked spirits molesting you. That everything you do seems to fail. Someone pray. A new order is imagined from you tonight. Your children will thank you. Your children's children will thank you. They will say, at what point did this transformation start? And you will tell them, when I found the revelation of the mystery of altars. Someone prophesied. My father may have died early. My mother may have died early. But I will not die early. I will not die on timely death. In the name of Jesus, I am crushing that altar by the power of the blood of Jesus. Pray. Graduates from the families. No job. No lifting. Pray. People don't get married. Or they get married and the home zone stay. Barrenness. Repetitive patterns. Failures in business. Someone pray. The operation of these altars come to an end from Lagos to Abuja to Maiduguri to Kaduna State to Rivers to Cross River to Kogi State. I don't care how long they have lasted. Lord, we pray. Someone pray. Ilana malakata brada gete belakatosh, shagra gete berakatosh kade lakata, embra gete bras kade lakata broda gete, egre fete gete baros kade lakata, embra pakato bras gete balakata prehedesh. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, someone pray. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We are bringing a new order. Pray for your family. Enough is enough. Enough is enough of children becoming useless. Enough is enough of people never finishing what they start. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please listen to me. In the name of Jesus. When I started ministry and I discovered that not many people from my region had had the privilege to rise to a global level and to stay and to last sustainably in ministry, I said, minus me. But I knew that it would not just be empty talk. You see, let me tell you something about altars. They don't care whether you are a pastor they don't care whether you are whatever once there is no compliance you can stand and be making a lot of noise and yet nothing will happen I made up my mind that I will serve the purposes of God at a global level and that anything that pegs people from my region and keeps them at a particular level that it will be my lifetime I will rewrite that narrative you're going to pray one more prayer before I speak over, please don't be tired. 
you came here tonight to deal with these things once and for all you are going to pray my destiny and my glory i connect you to the throne of grace go ahead and pray my destiny and my glory you are connected to that altar called the throne of grace my destiny and my glory you are not connected to ancestry my destiny and my glory you are not connected to wizardry and human manipulation my destiny and my glory you are not connected to earthly and platforms you are connected to the throne of grace someone pray my destiny my glory pray for your ministry my business your influence the workings of the spirit in your life connected to the throne of grace backed up by the king of kings himself backed up by the blood of the eternal covenant the meaning of that is no enchantment and no divination no enchantment no activities of wizardry necromancy the wasters of destiny they have no access to your life again connected to the altar please pray you are not wasting your time Man, the connect your business by faith in the son of the living god not as a blind ritual no let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward i am no longer connected to ancestry someone is praying let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward i am not connected to the limitations of bloodline let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward connected to the throne of grace let it be known to principalities and powers let it be known to thrones and dominions that there is a switch of loyalty let it be known to principalities and powers that there is a switch of loyalty from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of god's dear son hallelujah praise the name of the lord hear me my dear people everyone is destined by christ to rise there is nobody who is destined to remain down please place your right hand on your head prophetically you're my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory the lifter up of my head i will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about i lay me down and i slept i wait for the lord sustains me but thou O oh lord had a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head hallelujah in the name of jesus we are still praying please don't be distracted i stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic any system of authorization whether as a result of personal sin whether as a result of territorial sin or foundations and bloodline by the mercy of god I decree and declare their legal hold over you is hereby broken 
hereby broken. Therefore, every negative pattern, every frequent occurrence that is inconsistent with that which the word of God says should be, in the name that is above all names, I bring to end those patterns now. I bring to end those patterns now. Patterns of untimely death. Patterns of perversions. Patterns of delay. Patterns of limitation. Be broken now. Patterns of poverty and begging and hardship. Be broken now. Patterns of mediocrity and inferiority. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Where you have not risen to before, by reason of these limitations, I stand by the power of the Holy Ghost. Rise to that level. Rise to that level. In Korea, rise to that level. Hear me. If there is anyone here whose destiny is not opened and is not speaking, you love God, you are sincere, but your life is grounded. And that's what you have seen happen to other people. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, like a little flower opens up and begins to bud, I command your destiny to open up. Open up financially open up hallelujah now in the name of jesus if there is any priesthood servicing any altar against you whether by reason of where you come from that means there are human beings alive who continue to fuel those altars manikesh shabarata in the name of Jesus I bring to an end the reign of such priesthood their enchantments will no longer walk like the prophets of Baal they will not receive any answers again we shut the realm of the spirit against them we shut the power of the sun against them we shut the power of the wind against them. We shut the power of the earth against them. In the name of Jesus. Every medium of expression ceases to work for them. If there is anyone here having any infirmity in your body, that has defied medical attention and you know that this is a direct result of witchcraft right now in the name of Jesus that sickness leaves your body now help them please that sickness leaves your body now high blood pressure diabetes hepatitis in Aparish Kotebata it leaves your body now lumps and growths in your body demonic things that have defied some of you have had surgeries again and again and it will not go I curse it now in the name of Jesus hear me every experience of seeing dead people come to harass you my Bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common. There are times you may have encounters with the spirits of just men made perfect, but that does not bring oppression. In the name of Jesus, the system that authorizes familiar spirits to use the faces of men and oppress you and plant all kinds of things in your body and your destiny, it is broken now. It is broken now. Yeah. 
Please put down your hand. Now hear me. I'm going to give you an instruction. Every one of us in this place, you are going to give a sacrifice. Please, if you don't believe what I'm saying and what we are doing, that's all right. You will not go to hell. Are we together? I will be wicked to you to just round up and say, let's go. This is not how we God brought victory. Please hear me. A sacrifice is not donation. A sacrifice is not about money. It is about fulfilling, number one, a spiritual ordinance. This is not offering. This is not tithe. This is you standing in for yourself, for your ministry, for your business. While I was preparing this, I told God myself, I said, Lord, I've worked with you to an extent that you please tell me what I am going to bring as a sacrifice for my own destiny. I've gone past the level where I will try to, you are the one that has brought everything. Please hear me. I mean what I'm telling you and I want you to believe what I'm saying. I'm speaking to the body of Christ and I'm speaking to our global family. These are ordinances. David had an opportunity. He even gave, I mean, uh, Arauna told him, I said, look, I respect you, take. And David said, no, I will not give God nothing. I will not give God anything that does not cost me nothing. And the Bible says, as soon as he offered the sacrifice, the plague stopped. There are things that have stopped in the life. So I've shared with you my story, how I carried a sacrifice and went down to Canaan land. I was already experiencing results and God had shown me mercy. But God gave me an instruction and I went there with joy. I cannot tell you the sacrifices I have made for myself and this ministry that has brought us where we are. If you think Abuja just opened like that, please think again. Not with the wicked spirits that roam around the earth. There are mysteries. You become indomitable by the mysteries that you engage. Not just talking nonsense. There are businesses that have been grounded at the same level. There are ministries that have not crossed certain levels. It's not just about membership, but come on. God must bring people who will be saved every day. There are some of you, you will never have helpers that arise and run for you. You have committed yourself to repentance, the word of the Lord, prayer, sacrifice. I'm going to make a prophetic declaration, but please hear me. I'm saying this because, number one, I love you and I have a responsibility to teach you the truth. Men of God, sadly, across the body of Christ, you will find excesses where people have been manipulated and all of that. But I can tell you this is true every time god comes like this once and again it is because a new season has come for you as soon as noah came out he sacrificed of all the clean beasts when i read everything i said so what was left when david every time you read it in the bible the moment they get to very prophetic seasons there they go for some of you god has already been speaking to you i'm only confirming what he has been telling you it's not that I told you knew it. Some of you for months, God has been speaking to you. Hallelujah. This ministry you see has come thus far by this altar of sacrifice. It is powerful. It's changed my life. I cannot begin to tell you. The doors that God has opened, when you see the things that God does through my life, you either have to be a demonic devilish person serving satan or you'll be somebody who is serving the lord sincerely but in either case you cannot get this by human strength it is impossible thank you for staying to the end of this video thank you we are very very appreciative of your presence in this community this is a community of believers we are here to enlighten ourselves through the word of god through practical life applicable teachings so if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel if you have not liked this video please just take two seconds and just hit that like button and share this video with others to bless someone just as you have been blessed by this video
it is only God that can do the impossible. And when you are faced with impossibility in your life, the only place to run to, the only person to run to is God. And that is why we encourage ourselves to keep studying the word of God, to keep praying, fasting, to keep meditating on the word of God so that God will come through for us. Have a nice time. God bless you. See you in another of our videos. And there are so many videos that we have posted so far. Go through our channels. Go through our channel and check on our videos and see how impactful they are going to be in your life. Thank you. God bless you. Keep shining for Jesus. Keep shining for God. Peace.